I can take trail, I don't care. Forty-seven miles to Chellin, or to whatever the next town is. I can't remember the name of it. Dusty. I'm gonna hang back a ways. There's no wind either, so there's nothing to clear it off of the road. Okanogan National Forest. Well, this is absolutely beautiful. Move, please. Pick a direction. Thank you. Watch out. Watch out, Josh. Yeah. Coffee's starting to kick in. Waking up nicely. A little rip through Washington's forests. It's the loop loop. Okay, that makes the waypoint make a lot more sense because it says China Wall of Loop Loop and I had no f***ing clue what it was, but it's 28 miles from here, so I don't know what Loop Loop is, but it's actually a place. Whoa, yeah, okay. Jesus. Thirty-one miles to Concully, fourteen miles to Leader Lake, whatever that is. So we're ninety miles from the finish, basically. You okay? Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're right here. Uh, I gotta get somewhere where I can actually put my side stand down. What hurts? Okay, just take a second. Do you feel anything pop or anything like that? No. Nah. Okay. Just, just hang out there for a minute. We'll take care of the bike. Just breathe. Ribs or side? Like side. Like <laughs> Okay. Yeah, just give it a minute. Let me get my helmet off and stuff. Just under your jacket, just take it out. Where does it hurt at? Like, I'd say like... Point at it if you can. Like right in here. Like in the back almost? Yeah. Let me just feel a little bit. Yeah. Uh, Is that okay? Like, like hit it right in here. Like in your hip almost? Yeah. Okay. So at least there's no ribs there. <laughs> just take a minute. We'll, uh, we'll get the bike cleared out. Okay. See how you're feeling. Yeah, this front wheel just... 
It just, it was that, that rut. Yeah, it, it happens. Uh, right, one, two, three. Uh, definitely and hard. You're okay breathing and everything now? Yeah. Okay. It was. I mean, it just the front wheel started to climb. Oh, and, and it just wipes it out from underneath just, you, so there's nothing yeah, you can do. Threw me. I mean, you can see how I landed. Yeah. It just it looked all clear, and all of a sudden that just like it's like shadows and. Oh and yeah, all no. Of a it was like I'm like oh. You're in I, it before you realize it's there. Yep. That's gonna be a bruise. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you want to try and sit up at all? Yeah. Uh, nice and easy. Hey, it's adventure riding. It happens. There we go. Is your key in your jacket seat? Yeah. I'm gonna move the helmet over there too, just so nothing crawls into it. One pair of pants later. Well, Steve wins the award for the best off of the trip so far. I was on a trip up in Wyoming and a one of the girls that was riding with us on a DRZ 400 did about the same thing, except she full on face planted. Had to get a new helmet. Like her chin bar was the first thing to make contact with the ground. She thankfully didn't like break her nose or anything, but we definitely had a moment of like, what did you do? This is the spot right here where I just wiped out my biggest wipe out so far. So we'll just document that. And uh, this is our last day on the BDR. So uh, hopefully, that's my last crash at least. Here's the first test. Can I get on my motorcycle? Yep. Okay. We did that. And I mean, it'll loosen up the more you move around. Yeah. Gonna suck for a while. All right. Away we go. Uh, put it in gear. And then away we go. Uh, you guys missed the turn. What? Turn is back here. Hard left. Oh. All right, I got to turn around spot right here. Oh, fuck. And I dropped my bike in the turnaround spot. Fuck. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah. Steve's definitely hurting. He landed really hard on his side, so his whole hip flexor and everything's kind of locking up.
I went up the absolute worst part of that. <laughs> Tight turn with sand. So I know we're not going a blistering pace, but I have a new approach and that is stay upright to make time. We're having to lay back a ways because it's really dusty. Yeah, I imagine it's super dusty. to the China Wall of Loop Loop and the Arlington Mine. Good old Arlington Mine. Uh, UPS truck up. Oh, hey, Brown delivering. So, we're hardcore when the UPS <laughs> is out here. Well, I've learned a lesson, one lesson from two crashes in the last 24 hours. I crash every time I'm getting just a little too confident and I start posoing. I'm gonna not do that for a little bit. Oh shit, I'm in the shit, 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 don't, 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 fuck, shit. Oh my God. I'm gonna stop, I'm stopping down here. Yeah, stop down there. All right, let me find a spot to grab. All right, I'm ready. One, two, three. <laughs> Keep, oh, okay. All right, all you. Okay. Okay, I got three more that way. Three more that way. One more. That was almost indicating 22. Yeah, they got seven, which is kind of close to 22. Well, the guy was giving me two, two fingers on each hand. He said seven to me verbally. Oh, okay. What the hell, this is number eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We are seven miles from Concully. We're one mile from the Ruby Town site, which is where it had the note about a steep descent. Oh, that's good to know. Be some work to come up. Main Street following this county road was 60 feet wide. It was abandoned overnight when the price of silver dropped in 1893, and only a few stone foundations remain of once what was what was once the most famous mining camp of the Northwest. It's always crazy to me the number of towns that literally just went empty overnight because of the change to the gold standard. You'd have town, you know, cities of 10,000 people plus, and the moment we switched to the gold standard, just the entire town went bankrupt. It really is. Probably two or three hundred people, maybe. 
14 miles to Lone Frank Pass, so we're definitely going to go up an altitude real quick. Salmon Meadows. That's really pretty. view for you. Oh, big ruts. Oh, bottom of the forks out on that first one. Yeah, I, I've been really kind of surprised at how little there's been on this route. There's more water crossings on the uh, Colorado BDR. Yeah, I see it. Nope. <laughs> Ooh, that's a big rut. All right. <sighs> I about that up. You okay? Oh, you drove into the mud? <laughs> Whoopsie! <laughs> stay, stay left, stay left on that other, other one. Ten miles to Skull and Crossbones, something or another. I can't read it on here. Oh, big rocks. Okay. Don't go through the middle. Skull and Crossbones Corral, nine miles. Oh, yeah, don't do that. I'm gonna stop up here. Hey, you made it through. That's all that matters.
wind the road. Deer. Oh, and deer. Uh, Steve. Yeah, am I off? I have it as a hard right U-turn going up the hill. Really? Mine looks like it's following this. Yeah, all right. I mean, here, I'm going to just go up a few more feet because then I'll know. All right, I'm going to at least get on the start of this and then... Ooh, about f that up. Uh, I'm going to go up here a ways. It gets interesting. I don't want to stop on this. I'm going to go chase this deer for a minute. <laughs> There we go. Cabin's supposed to be in here somewhere. All right, here's Skull and Crossbones Corral. There it is. Yeah. I'm gonna go right here. Does anybody know anything about this other than that it's a cabin in the middle of nowhere? Nope. 20 minutes later. Watch that tree. Somewhere out there's got to be Canada. Oh, wow. we are going to pop out on the pavement in about 12 miles. miles to Chopra Lake, 23 miles to the border. I think that's the end of the off-road portion of this BDR. It's also now 91 degrees. A few inches later. Leaving the United States. Whew. Oh, God.
God, it's hot. <laughs> Where are you off to? I am cutting through and going to the top of Idaho. Okay. How long are you gonna take to do that? I'll wait, I'll probably get there tomorrow. No, just your, your ID, it'll link up to your oh, okay. vaccine. Did you do the arrive cam? Yes. So it'll pop up. So how long do you say it's gonna take you? Probably, I'll probably get there tomorrow. Okay. So I have a hotel like an hour and 45 minutes or so from here, and then I'll go the rest of the way tomorrow. Are you all traveling together? Not really. We've been traveling for the last couple of days, but then they're going west to like Vancouver in that area, and I'm going east. Okay. Welcome. Awesome. Enjoy your trip. Thank you very much. Five minutes later. See you guys. Welcome to Canada.